thank you. So uh, I just turned 40 a couple months ago, but what I was doing before I turned 40 was bragging because I don't have wrinkles, or, or I might, because I don't look at myself in lights like this, so don't come up to me after and be like, actually, I saw some. I'm just saying, I don't think I have wrinkles, and I was bragging to everyone, I'm gonna hit 40 without wrinkles, which is such a stupid thing to brag about, because what ended up happening is right before I turned 40, I got something worse. I got a couple gray pubic hairs. <laughs> God got me for bragging. And I didn't even believe in God until I got them, and now I know that there's a power greater than me out there, hell-bent on embarrassing me. <laughs> and so, all this means is that the end is near. Now, maybe not tomorrow, but it's day one of the end years, right? It means that the factory inside my body is starting to shut down. It's laying off all non-essential employees. <laughs> <laughs> All the elves that were hired all those years to paint the hairs black, they've been let go with a nice severance package and a nice retirement plan. Thank you for your 40 years of service. There's just one elf left in there just like, keep her kidneys going. Like, that's, that's all that's happening. <laughs> it's so confronting to see something like that. And I wouldn't even be telling you this if the hair was white. I would have no problem with that. White hair is beautiful, silky. I'd grow that out like Kenny Rogers' beard. I would just... <laughs> and I would stroke it. <laughs> like wise people do with their beards. <laughs> and I'd answer questions. Hmm, how should you invest your money? Let me think. <laughs> right? Or I'd go the other route. Punk rock, Billy Idol, mohawk it, put some gel in it. Punk rock pussy, you know? <laughs> but it's gray. And when it all grows in, that's gonna look mean. <laughs> gray is the color of barbed wire, and it sends a message. <laughs> it sits on top of things like, hey, get out of here, you young people. Don't try to climb up on me or I'll cut you. My ears are done. I don't want anything on here anymore, all right? Scram! <laughs> I just don't want to be that house. You know, as a kid, if you went trick-or-treating and you went to the nice houses where the young people lived and they had candy and it was warm, and then you, you saw the other house next door where the old lady lived and you were shocked because it's just no grass, just dirt on the ground and weird weeds coming up on the lawn and you can't tell if anyone's home and you're like, that house did not look like that last year. And you hear all these rumors like, that's what I feel like this is, is like the old house. <laughs> that suddenly people are like, I don't even think that house makes candy anymore, you know? <laughs> if I stick my hand in, I'm just gonna get dry pennies. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys, have a wonderful night. Thanks.